This is a story of two people who want to talk to each other in private. This is Alice. And this is Bob. Alice and Bob have important things to say to each other. In this story, Bob has put his important message in an email. The message will then travel over the internet until it reaches Alice. Life is wonderful for both of them. Unfortunately, email and just about anything over the internet isn't really private. In this case, Eve is watching their communications and reading everything. What's to be done? This is where Passlock comes in. Alice and Bob have their own secret keys, which only they know. Of course, if they try to tell one another, Eve will know the keys too. From their keys, Alice and Bob make the matching locks, using Passlock. You can always make the lock matching a key, but it is impossible to make the key starting from the lock. This is very important, as we shall see later. This is Passlock running on Alice's iPhone, open on the screen where she entered her secret key. In Passlock, a key can be whatever you want it to be, so you can remember it. Alice's key is, I lead 42 bananas. To make the matching lock, she clicks the Make Lock button. And then, this is her lock. It looks like a bunch of gibberish, except that it has special tags at both ends. Now that Alice has made the lock matching her key, she sends it over to Bob. It is watching, though. And when Bob gets it, it has it too. But fear not, because only Alice has the key to that lock. She's never going to give it to anybody, even Bob. Let's see how this works. Bob has a very private thing to say to Alice. He's aware that Eve might be watching. So before he sends his email, he puts Alice's lock on it. This is what it looks like in Passlock. Bob writes his message on the main screen and, after he has placed Alice's lock in the lock screen, watch what happens when he clicks the lock and lock button. The message has become unreadable. Now it is safe to transmit by email. So now Bob sends his locked email over the internet. Sure, Eve gets a copy at the same time as Alice gets hers. But only Alice has the key that unlocks it. When she gets the locked email, Alice applies her key using Passlock in order to unlock it. This is what it looks like in Passlock. Alice has entered her secret key in the screen we saw earlier, and now she writes the locked email on the main screen. Then she clicks the lock and lock button. And then Alice's key unlocks the email. The result is that only Alice has been able to read Bob's important message. Isn't Passlock just wonderful? Meanwhile, Eve is still scratching her head trying to figure out how to unlock it. She'll be doing this for a long time. Thank you for your attention and enjoy Passlock.